So it needs a few bits of tuning with the tremors inside here. But you get the basic idea. So this is the synthesizer my senior design team has been building. You've got three different waveforms and this is all under control of software. So these are knobs that are driving a microcontroller and the microcontroller is reading the knobs and then the microcontroller is generating the control voltages for the hardware. So let's see, uh, their friend who built this kind of set the knobs a little strange. This is all the way down, this is all the way up. So we have a pulse wave with variable width. There's a switch you can use to select several different preset widths. There's a sawtooth, triangle wave, and you can mix them all together. Here's the filter cutoff, resonance, envelopes over here, and there's also a low frequency oscillator. This doesn't change cutoff, this actually changes pitch. This knob lets you select the shape. So different waveforms. This one I think controls the filter. And volume. So this particular front panel, there's not a control for the depth of the LFO, but that's something you could all add in software with more controls. Basically for this prototype, they ran out of the inputs on this particular microcontroller, but that's something we could play with in the future. Can we look inside? Yeah. Okay, so here's the insides here. Power supply, Adafruit Grand Central, M4, ARM Core. This is the main analog engine, which is the main thing I wanted them to get working this semester. There's the board over here that has the opto isolators for the MIDI interface and other doodads. And over here, this is the board with the silent key filters that filters the PWM outputs from the microcontroller to drive most of the analog control voltages. So the filter cutoff and the pitch are driven by the built-in digital to analog converters that are, I think they're 10-bit, something like that, 10-bit, 12-bit, 10-bit, and the other voltages are made with PWM. Unfortunately, they couldn't figure out a way this semester to change the PWM frequency from, is it 1.8 kilohertz? Yeah. Yeah. So there's some filters here. I would like to drag those up higher. There's, we could play with different microcontrollers in the future. This semester, I really wanted to get this basic analog setup working. There's a 3340 VCO and there's a 2164 VCA that controls the triangle sawtooth and pulse and the final amplitude out. And then there's a 3320 VCF. There you go. Great job, guys. Oh, quick edit. The friend that made the box set the knobs to be a little odd. This is off and this is on. So I should probably unscrew these and make this off and, you know, turn out all the this way. So over here is on. So we're going to put a oscilloscope board here, but that had some issues.